This is example three in our applications of calculus topic, and we're looking at volumes of solids of revolution. And here's example three. If you check out example one and two, this is just a wee bit more uh, of interest because it's a little proof as to the volume of a sphere. Because a sphere is simply a semicircle that has been rotated around the x axis. So we can still uh, use our formula. Uh, v equals the integral of uh, pi y squared dx. And in this case here, we're dealing with a circle, a semicircle whose center is the origin. Um, it means if the radius is r, then the left-hand uh, limit is negative r, and our positive limit is r. So we can say it's from negative r up to r. So what is our function y in this case? Well, it's the equation uh, of a circle, which, as we know, would look something like x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That's the equation of a circle round about the um, center of the origin radius r. But we need it in terms of y equals. So we need uh, to rewrite it. Uh, we can write it as r squared minus x squared. Now, we don't need it to actually to be y equals the square root, because if you notice in the function, we need to square y anyway. We're looking for actually our expression y squared, and we've got that. So we can actually replace in this. Remember that pi is a constant. So we can take that out. We're looking for pi times the integral of r squared minus x squared with respect to x. Remember that in this case, r is just a constant term. So when we integrate it, we're going to get uh, r squared x, because if that were 3, the integral would be the, would be 3x. So r squared as a constant would just become uh, r squared x and minus x squared over 3 from r to negative r. So if we substitute in our limits, we're going to have r in the first bracket and negative r in the second. So we've got r squared times r minus r cubed over 3 minus r squared times negative r minus negative r cubed over 3. We need to simplify that a little bit. So the first bracket becomes r cubed minus a third of r cubed and what we've got i'll just take my, my time here what we've got here i've got negative r cubed and then over here we've got negative r cubed becomes negative r cubed because it's a negative term so that would become plus r cubed over three if we then we're to consider all of those together. We've got r cubed minus a third r cubed plus r cubed plus a third. Oops, plus a third. Oh, it's going to be minus a third r cubed, isn't it? Minus uh, a third r cubed. Which gives us, uh, effectively, we've got two. We've got r cubed plus r cubed is two r cubed. Uh, but then we've got minus r a third and minus a third r cubed. So effectively, we're talking about saying v equals pi times 2r cubed minus 2 thirds r cubed. And that becomes 2 take away 2 thirds is 1 and 1 third or 4 thirds. And so we end up with pi times 4 thirds r cubed or, uh, as we normally write it, as we normally write it, v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we know, or we should know, that that's the, the formula for the volume of the sphere, and that's where we get it from. Okay, We get it from the idea that we can take a semicircle and we can uh, rotate it around the x-axis to form a sphere, and from that we can actually derive its formula.
pretty neat in itself. Uh, it's uh, not something that would be an exam question type thing, but uh, we can still use the formula to derive it. Okay, we're going to go on and have a look at what happens if we rotate a solid around the y axis. What's different? What's the same? So you can check out example four next.